another swab of the arms with the ados, some uh, nice strong magnets there as you can see the seams there that's where you're like to pull it off and like I said guys I'm not gonna do it because I just the figure is not that stable when you take the arms off like that I mean you need two hands and I'm holding you know the camera with the one so I, I don't I, you guys get the idea it's nice strong magnets you pull it off put it on and you can switch all your arms and posing options the uh, controversial <laughs> um, dust trail or cosmic trail uh, hands okay this is the uh, what everybody at Sideshow uh, Freaks is talking about that they don't like I mean they don't think it's cool I think this looks great I'll give you a, a shot here uh, just backing up a little bit here I think that looks awesome I mean it, it makes part I mean you know uh, uh, surfing when you surf guess what when you catch some waves you're gonna you know go down and you're gonna uh, you know glide your hand through the water and stuff like that well this guy just went through like a, a dust cloud a cosmic cloud and he's dragging some particles behind him I think that looks great looks fantastic I love what Sideshow did this I mean it, I think this is the way you should post uh, your uh, your Silver Surfer comic at when you get it. I mean, it looks fantastic. But of course, you uh, nobody has the same uh, opinions. So that's why Sideshow provides uh, different posing options for the uh, Silver Surfer comic at. Looks really amazing. Another thing I want to bring up is uh, um, and another controversial thing on this uh, statue is the uh, the seams underneath his uh, head that people are complaining about. I I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, uh, you could barely see it. I mean, you have to come down from this angle all the way over here to see. I mean, to see. I mean, of course, guys, it's gonna have a seam. You have you get a switch of the heads and all that. I think that looks great. I mean, it's the jawline is there. I mean, I don't know how you expect Sideshow to hide that. I mean, you got uh, switching and change of the heads. I mean, to me, that looks great. They did a good job and hide, even hiding it. I mean, that looks great. As you can see here, I'm going to go over here to the side here. And uh, you know what? What? Uh, sorry, guys, the white light here throwing it off. But um, how do you expect to hide that? I mean, uh, to me, that looks great. This is the bottom of the base. As you can see, it's pretty badass. It's a Saichu exclusive Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer Comic Ed. 409 out of 600. So, very low number. Marvel, Max. And this cool, awesome picture of the Silver Surfer coming right at you. This is the art print you get with the exclusive. It is fantastic. And I strongly recommend, if you're going to get the exclusive, to frame this. I mean, this is a beautiful art print. As you can see, Galactus, man himself back there, over, oh, you know, overviewing here the man, uh, Norrin Rad here, Silver Surfer. And look at the background here. I mean, you can see some planets, some suns. Moon, Saturn over here, the rings of Saturn. It is fantastic. It's awesome glow here. I mean, beautiful, beautiful artwork on this art print. It is fantastic. But if you if you don't get the exclusive, no big deal because all the exchange of hands, and heads, uh, it's just uh, it comes uh, just uh, with the standard one. But if you get the exclusive, get this frame. It is a nice addition to the to the uh, Silver Surfer comic head. And before I go, here's a quick size comparison with the uh, Indiana Jones Premium Format. As you can see, look at how big that is. I mean, the board is so huge. It is unbelievable. I mean, good luck, guys, having some space to display this figure. I mean, in a cabinet or something. Uh, but, I mean, good luck with that because this is so huge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the uh, Silver Surfer comic head. I mean, there's nothing. Uh, I mean, I hope I covered everything. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. But I think uh, Sideshow nailed it. It is the Silver Surfer right here uh, at your house, miniaturized. And, I mean, it looks like he escaped the pages uh, of the Marvel, uh, the Marvel comics. I mean, paint job, accuracy to the character, uh, detail, I mean, a mo a muscle definition, the, the pose. I love the pose. It's very epic, very art uh, artsy. Uh, I mean, the board is great. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, not a lot of detail on it, but, I mean, to the point. I love the the, the uh, how what they did with the uh, the um, I mean him surfing the uh, cosmic uh, cloud and all that stuff. I mean I think it looks fantastic, beautiful beautiful job by Sideshow and it's a must have. If you are a Silver Surfer fan, this is a must have for you. You should already have this in your collection.
you guys take it easy. Uh, have a good day. And uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, remember, Comic Con is coming. We're uh, a couple of days away. Uh, go to Sideshow Collectibles and check all their preview of all their new stuff for Comic Con. Comic Con is the big uh, Comic Con 2010 is the biggest event for Sideshow. All, all the new release stuff is coming. Uh, and it just looks incredible. So many Marvel statues released already, and just more to come. Have a good day. And remember, collectors unite.